Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Courtney Perna. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahands.org. A Las Vegas judge reprimanding a convicted killer for his lack of remorse. Omar Talley was convicted of killing two women on the Las Vegas Strip in 2016. He was sentenced to life in prison. The judge, unsatisfied with Talley's attitude during Wednesday's sentencing, saying, I was really hoping today that the victim's family may get some feeling of remorse. Talley initially faced the death penalty for the double murder, but prosecutors withdrew that option before his trial started. A teenager pleading guilty in the fatal beating of a Rancho High School student, waiving his right to a trial. Now there are five teens charged in the case. The name of the teen pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter has not been released publicly. That's because he's a juvenile. Another hearing is scheduled for February 7th for two defendants whose attorneys say they are considering plea deals. A video showing two women blocked from a campaign event with Vice President Kamala Harris. It happened on Saturday. The video now viral on X shows a woman wearing a headscarf and two women are heard asking staff why they've been singled out and not allowed to enter. When staff doesn't respond, a woman called them racist and Islamophobic. An aide with the Biden-Harris administration says the women are among a group of people not allowed to attend because they have disrupted and shut down events in the past. A Los Angeles woman claiming comedian Bill Cosby sexually assaulted her at the Las Vegas Hilton in 1986. Shalon Lasha filing a lawsuit in Las Vegas Monday alleging sexual abuse, assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment. She's asking for compensation for psychological and physical injuries from the alleged attack at the hotel now known as Westgate. Lasha is one of several witnesses appearing in court while Cosby was on trial in 2018. Cosby's crisis manager could not be reached for comment. Lawyers for Nevada's alleged fake electors filing motions to have their case dismissed. The six Republicans accused of submitting certificates claiming Donald Trump won Nevada in the 2020 presidential election. They're charged with using a false instrument for filing and uttering forged instruments. The defendants pleaded not guilty. The trial is set to begin March 11th. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Cloudy skies rolling in tonight with a small chance of rain. Evening lows will hit around 51 degrees. Now Thursday morning, sprinkles will become more steady rain in the afternoon with wind gusts reaching 10 to 15 miles per hour. And rainfall picks up even more in the evening, turning into showers. Wind gusts should stay around 10 to 15 miles per hour. The evening lows will hit around 45 degrees. In business, a discount grocery store could bring multiple locations to Southern Nevada. The state's first Aldi store being planned for Henderson. That's according to documents filed with the city. A second location planned for a retail center near Rainbow Boulevard and West Arby Avenue. At this point, timelines for construction and openings are unclear. The Gaming Commission approves licensing for a historic Las Vegas dive bar. The Hard Hat Lounge, currently owned by guitarist Frankie Sidoris, now can have up to 15 slot machines. The license also means zero cover charge, since licensees are required to have public access to their gaming devices. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Running Rebels fifth-year forward Caleb Boone helped lead UNLV to a 78-69 victory over Fresno State at the Thomas & Mack Center on Tuesday, finishing with 21 points. Boone added five rebounds, four assists, and three blocks, and his brother Keelan added 15 points and 13 rebounds. The Rebels improved to 11-9 on the season, 4-4 four four in the Mountain West, and UNLV will take the court again against Wyoming at 5 p.m. on Saturday, back at the Thomas & Mack Center. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Is your skin losing the annual battle with dry winter air? When the temperature drops, the humidity tends to drop with it. And so naturally your skin dehydrates and starts to become very dry. Hands are especially vulnerable to cracks and cuts, putting you at risk for infection. Winter clothing can prevent or delay evaporation off the skin, but if your skin is extremely raw, you may want to use some ointments. Remember, these products only last for a few hours at maximum, so you really need to hydrate and moisturize at minimum two to three times daily. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The second signature event of the season on the PGA Tour is this week in Pebble Beach, California, and Scotty Scheffler is the plus 925 favorite at Circus Sportsbook to win the tournament. 
Rory McIlroy is the plus 1025 second choice, followed by Xander Schauffele at plus 1150 and Victor Hovland at 12 to 1. Jordan Spieth is next at 17 to 1, with Patrick Cantlay at 19 to 1 and Max Homa at plus 1950. Colin Morikawa is 20 to 1. In lifestyle news brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort, NFL fans. Looking to go to the Super Bowl? Well, be prepared to pay record prices on the secondary ticket market. The cheapest ticket Tuesday morning on TickPick was $8,300. That's for a seat way up in the 300 level at Allegiant Stadium. The average listing price was $10,588. That's as of Tuesday. So far this year's Super Bowl tracking to be 50% more expensive than last year's game. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Dead and Company, featuring former members of the Grateful Dead, is the next resident headliner at The Sphere. The venue and the band's social media teasing the upcoming production Wednesday morning, saying, quote, in 2023, Dead and Company played their final tour, but there are other ways to make sure the music never stops and it's gonna be a ball. We'll let you know more details when they become available. Calvin Harris launching his Las Vegas residency after the Super Bowl. The superstar, producer, and DJ playing Live Las Vegas at Fountain Blue on February 11th. That's according to an announcement on Tuesday. Fans can expect an audio-visual journey through Harris's expansive catalog of hits and collaborations. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. I'm Courtney Perna. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. You can also watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.